tell us a little bit about why you wanted to create this book. What, yes. what motivated you? Absolutely. Um, so my background is in Chinese medicine. I'm an acupuncturist and an herbalist. That's what I did before doTERRA. And I wanted to marry my knowledge and experience of Chinese medicine with essential oils. So I took all those herbology principles when we were making Chinese blends and formulas and I transferred that with the essential oils. Uh, and then on top of that, I'm just, I'm just sensitive in general. I have the ability to sense people's uh, meridians and so forth. And I started to discover some really interesting locations of application based upon meridians and acupuncture points. So then when we combine the strength of these essential oils because they, uh, they vibrate very high, high frequencies, and then knowing the best locations of application together, I was noticing people getting massive shifts and breakthroughs. So it would usually take me many, many sessions of acupuncture. I was able to accomplish that in creating these very gorgeous blends. So, um, and one of my root philosophies that I learned in Chinese medicine is that 99% of illnesses are rooted in the spirit. So I like to focus on the emotions and spiritual well-being because if you think about it, think about if you are angry all the time, irritated all the time, right? Yeah. What does that do to your blood pressure? What does that do to your heart? Mm -hmm. or, or the sadness, the deep sadness if someone can't seem to shake it, right? And they're just they have a dark cloud over them all the time. It, it's very difficult to relate with others and connect with others and feel that joy and and experience success in your relationships and in your career. So I wanted to give people emotional freedom with these blends. So I want you to look at when you get a, a blend, let's see, here's one, this one's titled Warm Embrace. The way that I design it is I do base it on Chinese herbology principles, but I also want you to look at it as a story. So um, I come by here in Warm Embrace, there's some cinnamon in there. It helps you to feel the within you okay and it also increases unconditional love tangerine brings that joy and excitement you have eucalyptus makes you to feel whole and complete like you're not missing anything you already have everything you need all within you and inside of you um, cassia also brings warmth but it brings reassurance it also increases confidence within yourself and lemon cleanses out any negativity negative thoughts negative feelings and then cardamom helps you to fulfill your unique purpose and it gives you lots of great perspective too so the way that I write them is I write a story I think of okay what is someone struggling with and then what are all the components that are needed to achieve this new way of thinking this new way of feeling and the new way of believing okay and then in the very beginning I, I talk about locations of application I'll just if I can remember what page it's on <laughs> one second I don't know what it is you wrote yes, the book <laughs> I know I know it's right here I think it's the next page you got it I got it here oh, we perfect. go so there's a uh, nine locations of application so I go over you know like here's here's a really great location everyone people don't think about it the inside of the elbow creases oh. So the lung, pericardium, and heart channels, pericardium is the sac that covers the heart, right? Yeah. So the, these, these channels run through here, and so when you apply oils here, it goes right into the chest cavity. And so if you feel this heaviness in your heart, like this weight here, and you put in, for example, Soothe the Soul, that's a phenomenal blend. You put that, just roll it right here, you'll take this big, deep inhale. And so, um, and also know that lungs hold sadness and grief, okay? And, and so do the, the, so does the heart. So when there's lots of sadness and grief and heaviness, I love applying oils here to affect the chest area. And, and the wrist creases work too. Other two locations, because there's nine locations I talk about here, other two quick locations, the top of the head is, people don't even think about it. Yeah. The top of the head I know, is that's amazing. what when you said that, I was like, really? Yes, the top of the head. When you put a drop here, it just surges through your body so quickly. I mean, it goes right down the midline and just, just everywhere. It's the best thing. You'll feel it immediately. So try, play with that. And then another area that surges through the body quickly is around the belly button. 
think about the belly button, it's a very sacred place. I mean, that's where the umbilical cord came from, right? right. Nourishment from your mother. Right. So when you need to feel, for example, myrrh, myrrh is phenomenal around the belly button. When you need to feel safety, that you're taken care of, you're provided for. So you're not always like danger, 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 worry, worry all the time, but myrrh around the belly button. So some of these oils, I like you to roll it around the belly button. And I give suggestions with, uh, here's I Am Fabulous, I do provide suggestions, like what are the best uh, locations of application, right. but also remember, trust your gut, yeah. okay? Trust your intuition. I give you nine different locations. If, if you don't like it on the wrist, fine. If it feels better on the back of the neck, then go ahead and do that. But we are, um, the points that I give are along meridians and acupuncture points. Um, so when there's grieving and sadness, I like to put it here so it goes right to the heart space, okay? So it gives you a little bit more understanding. And um, I do want to recommend some Chinese medicine books. Could I do yes, that? Yes, absolutely. So if you want to get a better understanding, because in Chinese medicine, every organ, like the stomach, has to do with worry and overthinking. Thinking of, Think about when you eat something, if it's not digesting, it's just ruminating over and over again. Yeah. So then the stomach has to do with worry and overthinking. Um, fear is associated with the kidneys. So if people have any kidney issues, most likely they have a lot of trapped fear in their body. And there is a, um, a blend here called Release Your Fears, okay? okay. So there is, there's a great book, it's called Between Heaven and Earth. It's a guide to Chinese medicine. Okay. So it'll teach you these basic, basic principles. And then when you read that along with this, it'll start to click more because I'm using a lot of Chinese medicine in here. Got it. Okay, and then there's one other one, it's called The Web That Has No Weaver. I'm not a fan of the title. But, but it's one of those basic intro books that gives you a nice guideline and understanding the basic principles. Wow. So I hope okay. that helps. Is there any other yeah. questions you have? Well, can they find those books yes. on Amazon? The, um, the yes, two those books. two, okay. yes. So you can find those? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I but, love it. Yeah, guys, go ahead and check it out on our website. We also have the um, stickers and the tear pad as well. Yes. So the go ahead and pad. check those out. Actually, let's touch on the tear pad let's really quickly. Yes. So there is an I Am Fabulous tear pad and it is a protocol. So I have you applying certain oils on specific points and it's all laid out in the tear pad so you don't have to memorize anything. You just walk it through with someone and then at the end of the protocol, and I'll just briefly explain, it goes um, over how to eliminate overwhelm how to get clarity and vision, how to boost your self-esteem, and how to project yourself out into the world. So there are a handful of oils in there that guide you through those steps. And then at the very, uh, on the back page of the tear pad, there's actually a list of recommended blends to use for the next three to six months. Wow. So if you get very overwhelmed, like, I don't know where to start, I think I need to do all of these. <laughs> is that how? Yes. Yeah, so there is a guideline there for you. Um, so you can start with release your fears or bye-bye baggage because I know some of you have some baggage to let go of in your life, right? Whether it's things, whether it's some people, maybe it's some situations that you need to just let go of. So there is a sequencing there for you so you know where to go, where to start, what to do next. And it's, it's wonderful. And I will just say, if you teach the classes, do not diffuse oils. Okay, don't okay. diffuse the oils because there's already a lot of oils happening. Make sure everybody has uh, water to drink as well. And then before you teach the class, I'm gonna give one tip. Put some Melaleuca right here on your solar plexus and it's just gonna provide some protection so as people are letting go of stuff, you're not gonna get any of their stuff. <laughs> right. So just little tips for you. And then if you go to um, edgesuccess.com, there is a video of me teaching the class. Oh wow, okay. So if you want to see a, an actual video of that, um, also on my Facebook page, uh, Desiree Mangendog, there's an I'm Fabulous class live there too. Oh, I love it. So if you guys want to actually see an example of me teaching it, so that you can go forward and teach to all of your people and all your teams how to conduct that class, it's all available for you. Perfect. Yay. Oh my gosh, thank you so much weekend. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you on Tuesday.